driven him away. Brian Gonzalez, first pitch swinging, hits it sharply on the ground to Chang. It's short. He throws him out and quickly one down. What were you going to say? I was going to say, you know, we've got this golden microphone in here that if we do make a mistake, which happens more than it probably should, we present it to one side or the other. And if we could go to the dollar store and maybe we go get a bunch of those and our long-distance listener, we send them on. Just email them one, yeah? Yeah. A picture of one. Just one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got to work on the, the budget, right? Yes. Ronald Rosario takes a breaking ball down. He got a rest last night, four for seven in the first two games of the series. He has reached base safely in 11 straight games. And he fouls that one off the fist straight back. Yeah, Danny quietly is having a nice year. Got off to kind of a rough start here, but continued to move up in the order. 333, a home run, seven RBI since his promotion. Checks his swing, went too far on a slider away. He's behind a ball and two strikes. Giving him a lot of room out in left center field. Center fielder Bowen shading him the other way. And a breaking ball hit towards center field. Bowen on the run, not going to get it. It's one hopping off the wall. Rosario on his way to second as Bowen fires it in towards third. That's a one-out double for Ronald Rosario, his fifth two-base hit of the season. And the drive have a runner in scoring position with one out. Yeah, nicely done. We've seen the fastball 92. This was off speed at 80 after the previous one was 79. He went fishing a little bit there. State back, laced it into center field. And we have seen a lot of center field play relatively uh, shallow. And that one got up over the head of Bowen. Now Edison Paulino, 3 for 14 in the series. He has had a hit in each of his last two games. Average down to 232. And he takes a strike. It's interesting. He has been in kind of up and down the batting order all season. But it's been right around here in the sixth spot where seemingly he's been the most productive. Looking for a hit here. And they could get the game's first run in. And he takes a breaking ball low. One and one. We will be keeping tabs on what's going on in the other two games of some importance as far as this first half playoff race is concerned. Outside, top of the second inning, Asheville batting leading 1-0 at Winston-Salem. And top of the second inning, Rome batting tied 1-1 with Hudson Valley. Entering play tonight, the drive a half game behind Winston-Salem in the south. Greensboro one back of Hudson Valley in the north. Here's ball three to Paulino. He's in the driver's seat now, three and one. We're talking about shallow. Look where Sammy Siani is playing in right field. Very shallow for the left-handed batter. And he hits it on the ground to second. There is Jarvis who will throw him out. Rosario moves up to third, but he's there with two down. Now Miguel Luguedo. And you know, I keep saying on the air how much better he looks at the plate despite his average being just 207. And I was wondering, am I just fooling myself? So I did a dive into his numbers today. In the month of April, Luguedo hit 120. In May, he hit 218. And he grounds this one to third, charging as Ordonez, and he throws him out. Through 10 games in the month of June, Uguedo is hitting 306.